Hey, good morning and welcome to the live stream. Yeah, I'm in my car. Why am I in my car? Because if you were to walk into my house, I'm sitting in the, I'm just sitting in the driveway. If you were to go into my house right now, it is so loud. You literally cannot hear yourself think. They are, I've got two separate construction crews here today. One is working out in the backyard. We're doing a complete makeover back there. The other is on the inside. And today they are tearing out the old tile floors from the kitchen. Uh, getting ready to put in some new new flooring. And it's and the sound is, it's just so incredibly loud. But it brings up a good point. And I was trying to figure out what I was going to do this morning because it was so loud. And Vicky said, why don't you go out to your car? And I thought, yeah, of course. Did you know that the car is one of the best acoustically designed spaces there is? These car cars are designed to be uh, be quiet. They're not soundproof, but they're quiet and they're acoustically treated to, to suck up a lot of the unwanted um, uh, sound waves and frequencies that, that, that bounce around and create that big hollow noise that we try so hard to avoid. So I'm in my car this morning and, you know, it's, it's, uh, <laughs> so, you know, take that for what it's worth. If you're having a hard time finding a place to record, geez, just go to your car. I mean, I once saw a guy about, he had a microphone clip. I don't know where he got it. I get, I'm sure you can buy them online easily, but it was a microphone clip. He was using a shotgun microphone and, and the clip, he had it clipped onto his, uh, the visor of his car and the mic was coming down and he had his computer hooked up and he was recording that way. Um, so, Hey, why not give it a shot? The car might be now you're hearing, if you listen carefully, you're still going to hear noise. There, there's, there's two guys sawing wood right in front of my car in my driveway. So it's, it's insane, but you know, it, it's, um, it's amazing what you can do with, with craziness going on in your house. Yesterday, it was like this all day long yet. I made about $2,000 in voiceover yesterday. And you ask how I did that. Well, number one, I had a project, uh, in which I just, I just sat and tried to wait for the quietest time, like between noises. And I recorded a series of commercials but I could, there was never a time when there wasn't noise. So I just recorded and then I ran waves NS1 over it. And then I went back over it and I listened carefully. And if I could hear like a bang or something in the background, I just, I would redo that line again. And I, I just got approval on it this morning from the client. They liked it. So cr crazy, right? And then the couple of, I, several other projects I, I just, I recorded last night after everybody left. So you can, I mean, you can do it. It can be done. And uh, the big uh, job for me was just not to freak out over it and just say, you know what? Going with the flow is not always my best. It's not always my strong suit, to be honest with you. And as I get older, I'm learning just, you know, it is what it is. There's some things I have no control over. And uh, things usually work out okay anyhow. So, so there's that. Now, um, I wanted to also let you know that I will not be doing the morning stream tomorrow morning or Thanksgiving. Tomorrow we're going to, uh, tonight we're going to, we're going to, we decided last minute, um, turns out my brother-in-law is not going to be able to be with my mother-in-law on Thanksgiving, which we thought they, he would be able to, but turns out he can't. And she's in a nursing home in Ohio. So tonight we're going to drive tonight to get there. So we'll get there late and then we'll get up in the morning. We're going to go over a visit with her and then we're driving straight home. So it literally, it's, you know, it's just, we're going to go out there and then spend some time with her there in the nursing home. And, um, I just really can't stand the thought of having a loved one be alone like that, uh, during the things without a visit from, you know, close family members. So we're going to go do that. And, um, so that, that will be going on again tomorrow and then Thursday will be Thanksgiving. So I'm not going to, to stream that morning, but I'll be back on good Friday morning because we've got something big going on, which I'm going to talk about, talk about in just a second. But with it being Thanksgiving, I would be, uh, it would be a terrible mistake on my part if I didn't let you know how much I appreciate you guys. And I'm thankful for you. I'm thankful that you're here. I'm thankful for your enthusiasm about your voiceover uh, your, the kind words that you guys always share, which makes it easier for me to get up in the morning to do these, to do these videos. And I appreciate it. And, um, you know, I'm trying, what I'm finding, the older I get, the more I, I, I learned that 
that I don't know and that I need to learn. I need to get, you know, to try to, to become better at things. And, and being thankful, I think, is one of them because it's so easy. It's so easy to get frustrated by things and to, to judge things as negative. And there are things in our life that aren't pleasant. And though if we had a choice, we wouldn't, we wouldn't choose. But if we allow, I think, our minds to be open to what's going on, we can oftentimes use, the, use those things as, as fuel, as raw material for our next thing. As a matter of fact, if it wasn't for the worst thing that ever happened in my life, which I'm not going to share the details of that with you, but if it wasn't for the worst thing that ever happened in my life, I wouldn't be a voiceover talent today. I wouldn't. But from the very worst thing I, you know, that ever happened came the very best thing that ever happened course when you're in the middle of all that crap and you don't you don't see that but perspective you know I'm, I'm trying to learn to understand that the road that we travel um if we allow it it can take us to some pretty cool places even when the places we're in right now are not the places we choose to be so anyhow i just want to let you guys know how much i appreciate you and wish the very best for all of you guys and also wanted to, to, to let you know and remind you, in case you haven't heard me say it, that I've got something very special put together for Good Friday, not Good Friday, Black Friday. Now, I'm going to make you wait till spring for this one. This one's happening starting this Friday, and it's my annual sale, great training, current training, lots of training at a really, 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 really low price. So uh, I tried my best to put together something that would just be um, a no brainer. So that when you look at it, you'd be like, Oh yeah, I mean, my gosh, you know, I, I gotta get this because it's so much training for so little. So that happens on good Friday. Now, uh, make sure that you get in line for this one. Okay. Because we are limiting this to 300 units of this program sold. And so if you want to ensure that uh, you get in line for it, get in the early bird list because you will get an hour early access before everybody else. And especially as somebody who's on my YouTube channel, I want to make sure you get that early access. So there is a link in the description below the video. You can go and you can uh, get on that list and then you'll get an email with a link that will give you one hour earlier access than everybody else to make sure that uh, if that's something that you want to get. And I hope it is, you know, that, that you can. All right. Well, thanks for letting me know who you are and what's going on here. I always love looking at the uh, live stream chat to see who's who's on. So let's do some shout outs here this morning. Ron was first on this morning from Charleston, South Carolina, reminding us all that it is indeed, even though it's Turkey Week, it's Taco Tuesday. Hey, Bob, how are you doing in Reedsville, North Carolina? We've got Julie in Hummelstown, Pennsylvania. Aaron, hello to you in Umatilla, Florida. Thank you for the phonetic pronunciation. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't have gotten that correct. Corey, hello to you. Safe travels to everyone who's traveling over the next few days. Yes, thank you. Absolutely, Corey. Take it easy out there. Bill, hello to you in cold Boise, Idaho. 26 degrees. Yikes. Hey, Rob, how are you doing? In Loveland. Hope you were doing well today. Carolyn, and blessings to you this Thanksgiving. Thank you. Hey, Dave, how are you doing in New York? Greg in Asheville, North Carolina. Scotty, hello to you in Brookings, South Dakota. VO on the go. Yes, indeed. Um, let's see here. Michelle in Philadelphia. Hello to you. Good morning to Mark in Estes Park, Colorado. Ken in Harker Heights, Texas. Uh, let's see here. We've got Danielle in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Denise, hello to you in Long Island. Magic Bob. It's a rainy day in Brantford, Canada. Happy Thanksgiving to you. Sandro uh, in Worthington, Ohio. Wayne in the Olympic Mountains. Phil in Tokyo. Melissa in San Diego. Dr. Bob in Clearwater, Florida. Mike is in Spanish Fort, Alabama. Jason in Kearney, Nebraska. Uh, nice mobile rig. You know, what's funny. I'm just talking. I'm just, I mean, literally, I've got my, back, my MacBook Air here in front of me. So I'm not, this is not a special setup. Um, but it's working okay. And I could easily hook up a microphone to this if I needed to. We've got Jacob in Atlanta, Sean in Lebanon, Pennsylvania, finishing up his demo for the website. Awesome. Um, oh, got an e-learning contract recently. Yes, Cassie. No, you can't get the bell. I'm not going to blow my horn because I've got two guys sawing lumber in front of me, and I don't want one to, I don't want to make them jump and lose a finger in the process. I'm sure, 
sure you can understand and appreciate that. Dale in Atlanta, Scotty, got some autumn you blankets. Oh, get some autumn you blankets for your Audi. <laughs> It's not an Audi, but that's a, that is a good idea. Some Audi mute. That's that's pretty clever. Uh, Theo, how are you doing in downtown Chicago, where I drove today in my car, which is nicknamed the Spaceship because of its curvy, futuristic look and its spacey acoustics. Cool. Well, you what what is your Spaceship car, Theo? John, how are you doing in Rhinebeck, New York? Joy, hello to you in rainy Southfield, Michigan. Thank you, Julie. You have a wonderful Thanksgiving and safe travels as well. Jen, hello to you in Asheville, North Carolina. It's sweet to see your loved ones who can't get out. Yeah. You know, you, you have to think, you know, you realize, of course, again, you know, the longer you've been around and you see things that you, know, you see your grandparents go. And as a little kid, I remember my great grandparents and then my, my grandparents. And now and then when it's your parents, you realize, you know, you're next in line. And we, we you know, we don't know what that looks like. Nobody knows what that looks like. But you just hope that you don't spend a holiday alone. You know, that would just, that would be would be the worst. Ashley, hello to you in the UK. Hope you're having a good afternoon. Denise, hello. Uh, Robert, what's up in Altoona? Joy, oh yes, definitely go visit her. Thanksgiving is for spending time with family. Indeed it is. Megan, hello to you in Manitoba. Mike, says, safe travels and have a wonderful Thanksgiving with your friends and family. Charles, my wife, Laura, is going to get the Black Friday special for the Blueprint. We are 100% committed to make this work. Fantastic, Charles. That's awesome. So glad to hear that. Hey, AG in India, how are you doing? Uh, let's see. Thank you and everything voiceover Blueprint related. The entire team and all the fellow Blueprinters make it what it is. Absolutely. And so glad you're part of that, AG. Hey, Kara, have a nice Thanksgiving to you, too. Chad, hello, in Daytona Beach, Wally. Ah, the challenges we deal with and we keep moving forward. Yes. James, hello. Jen, hoping to make the blueprint my Christmas present to me. You know, sometimes you got to do something good for yourself and make an investment in yourself, in your future. My seat is getting hot. Oh, my gosh. Let me turn down the heat here. It's working a little too good. I'm on fire right now. There we go. Uh, Greg, and is it Noti or Naughty Oregon? Good morning. A Page, Texas, in the house this morning. Danny, uh, Daniel from the Maritimes in Canada. Timothy, thank you for being here. And he says he's thankful for the blueprint and for the team. Fantastic. Thank you. The, spa uh, the spaceship is a two 2007 Subaru Tribeca. The, the Tribeca. I've seen the Impreza. I'm sure I've seen it. I'm, I'm not up in all the models of all the cars, I'm sorry to say. I'll tell you who is, though. My oldest grandson. Oh, my gosh. And his taste in cars. Of course, when you're 13 years old, you don't have no concept of money. But it's like, hey, Papa, you need to get that car. It's like, yeah, I don't think I do. Uh, all right, guys. Hey, thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Don't forget, I won't be here tomorrow at Thanksgiving, but I will be back on, on Black Friday morning to be a part of, uh, you know, celebrating the aftermath of Thanksgiving and all the thanks or all the turkey and we can swap stories and celebrate the big sale going on on Friday. I'm so excited about that. Don't forget, if, you, if you're if you not on the early bird list, make sure that you, and if you're not even sure if you're going to buy anything, just get on the early bird list. That way, if you make the decision you're going to be there, you can be among the first in line to make sure that you get access to it. Hey, thanks for being here. Have a great day, and I will talk to you soon.